Hi and welcome to the session. Today we will learn about multiplication of fractions. So first of all, let us see multiplication of a fraction by a whole number. To multiply a whole number with a proper or improper fraction multiply the whole number by the numerator of the fraction keeping the denominator same. Now we already know that a proper fraction represents a part of a whole and in this numerator is less than the denominator and improper fraction is a combination of a whole and a proper fraction and in this Denominator is less than the numerator. Let's take an example for this. Let us multiply the whole number 2 with a proper fraction 3 by 5. So for this we will multiply the whole number 2 with the numerator of the fraction that is 3. So we will get 2 into 3 upon. Now we will keep the denominator same. So we get 5. So this is equal to 6 by 5. Now to multiply a mixed fraction to a whole number first convert the mixed fraction to an improper fraction and then multiply. For example, let us multiply 3 with 2 1 by 5. Now first of all we will convert 2 1 by 5 that is the mixed fraction into improper fraction. So this will be equal to 3 into 11 by 5. Now we will multiply this and we will get 3 into 11 upon 5 which is equal to 33 upon 5. Next we have fraction as an operator of now, of represents multiplication. So, 1 by 5 of 15 means 1 by 5 into 15. Let's take an example. In a class of 60 students, 1 by 3 of total students like to study maths. So let us find out how many students like to study maths. So number of students will be equal to 1 by 3 of total students that is 60. Now of means multiplication. So this will be equal to 1 by 3 into 60 which is equal to 60 upon 3. So this will be equal to 20 in its lowest form. That means 20 students like to study maths. 
Now, let's see the multiplication of a fraction by a fraction. Two fractions are multiplied by multiplying their numerators and denominators separately and we write the product as product of numerators upon product of denominators. For example, let us multiply 3 by 8 with 6 by 4. So, this will be equal to product of numerators that is 3 into 6 upon product of denominators that is 8 into 4. So, this will be equal to 18 upon 32. Now, this will be equal to 9 upon 16 in its lowest form. So, 3 by 8 into 6 by 4 is equal to 9 by 16. Let's move on to our next topic, value of the products. First of all, we have when two proper fractions are multiplied the product is less than each of the fractions. Let's take an example. Suppose we have two proper fractions. 2 by 7 and 5 by 7. So let us multiply them. So 2 by 7 into 5 by 7 is equal to 10 by 49. Now let us compare 10 by 49 and 2 by 7. Now we can write 2 by 7 as 14 by 49 as an equivalent fraction. So we need to compare 10 by 49 and 14 by 49. And this is very clear that 10 by 49 is less than 14 by 49. This implies 10 by 49 is less than 2 by 7. Now, let us compare 10 by 49 and 5 by 7. And 5 by 7 can be written as 35 by 49 as an equivalent fraction. So, we need to compare 10 by 49 and 35 by 49. So, from this we can say that 10 by 49 is less than 35 by 49. Or this implies 10 by 49 is less than 5 by 7. Thus, the product of two proper fractions that is 10 by 49 is less than each of the fractions 2 by 7 and 5 by 7. Next, we have the product of two improper fractions is greater than each of the fractions.
Let's take an example. Suppose we have two improper fractions. 3 by 2 and 5 by 4. So, let us multiply 3 by 2 with 5 by 4. So, we will get 15 by 8. Now, clearly 15 by 8 is greater than 3 by 2 and 15 by 8 is greater than 5 by 4. Thus, the product of two improper fractions that is 15 by 8 is greater than each of the fractions 3 by 2 and 5 by 4. Lastly, we have product of a proper and an improper fraction is less than the improper fraction and greater than the proper fraction. Let's take an example for this. Suppose we have a proper fraction Two by five and an improper fraction seven by three. Then two by five into seven by three is equal to fourteen by fifteen, and clearly fourteen by fifteen is less than seven by three and 14 by 15 is greater than 2 by 5. So, that means product of a proper and improper fraction is less than the improper fraction and greater than the proper fraction. Now, let us try to solve this question. In this, we are given that 2 by 5 into unknown fraction is equal to 14 by 30. Now, we know that to multiply two fractions, we multiply the numerators and denominators separately. So, that means 2 into this number will be equal to 14 and we know that 2 into 7 is equal to 14. So, we must have 7 over here and now 5 into this number will be equal to 30 and we know that 5 into 6 is 30 that means here we must have 6. So this is how we can solve such type of questions. With this we finish this session. Hope you must have understood all the concepts. Goodbye, take care and have a nice day.